Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Last night at the Gnomestead here, uh, my dad and I got into a conversation about um, spreadsheets, and specifically his use of spreadsheets, and he mentioned a word that some of you may not be familiar with. That is a macro, and in computer terms and software terms, a macro is a series of events that can be recorded and then played back at a later date. My dad kind of explained it, but only in a spreadsheet context. Macros in general uh, can be helpful not just for automating processes within any one application, but also between a variety of applications. In fact, years ago, Windows used to come with a macro recorder. Of course, Microsoft dumped that for some reason or another and decided to keep a hold of, you know, other marginally useful apps like, well, Sound Recorder, which really hasn't improved all that much even with uh, recent updates to Windows Vista. So a macro recorder will help you do things in an automated fashion if you have to do the same things over and over and over again. You only have to record it once and play it back indefinitely. There is a program that I was reminded of uh, after a user decided to email me. Eric says, hey Chris, I'm a big fan of AutoIt, that's A-U-T-O-I-T, and I wonder why you haven't talked about it before, or if you have, I haven't heard about it. AutoIt is a basic-like programming language that lets you do just about anything concerning with Windows, but its strength is making Windows GUIs. Visit AutoItScript.com and have a look. It can be a lot of fun to play around with and really useful for everything else. And I gave that website right there. You guys can type it in and, and have it listed out inside the actual chat inside the video. It is freeware. Again, it's AutoItScript. Dot com. It's available for Windows, and this will help you automate certain processes uh, inside of Windows. So instead of having to do the same activity over and over and over again, just do it once, set it to record, create a batch file, if you will, to help automate that process, and it will be automatically done from that point forward. Now, uh, again, that's kind of a high-level overview of not only what macros are, but specifically this product. If you happen to have OS X, it has a nice little macro editor of sorts baked into the operating system. It's called Automator, and uh, while the icon may not be available in the dock, it certainly is available on the machine. You can go ahead and do a spotlight search in OS X for the Automator robot, and from there, build... Um, I guess your sequence of events and then you will be able to play that back at any point in time in the future with those automator actions. Uh, once you get into macros uh, you'll certainly see the way you interact with the computer uh, with a lot of those redundant tasks will certainly become a lot easier over time. Um, there are different ways of setting up macros and different programs that will help you create and manage those macros. Uh, that will, again, make you have a better time uh, with the time that you spend with the computer, in theory. AutoIt is pretty simple. Automator, uh, equally as simple. But of course, you kind of need to know what you're doing when you start playing with it. Both happen to be free, or at least available to you, um, it, within you know either a website or right there on your hard drive, depending on which operating system you choose to use. So if you have any suggestions for other macro management programs, if you even use macros or if you think they're worth using for people either inside of Spreadsheet or generally within Windows, operating with other Windows on an operating system, by all means, leave a comment or a suggestion. If you know of a, another free or open source program that we might be able to use on any platform, I'm looking for recommendations as always. And uh, <laughs> Okay, you guys are beating me to the punch here. Everyone's telling you what to do right now. They're giving the URL. Now it's the time. Live.perillo.com. That's where we're at right now.